Okay, you are going to have to uh, forgive my appearance. Leia has not been well. She was sick, she had a rash, and at first I thought it was just a heat rash, but I'm pretty sure it was Fifth's disease, which is like just passed around through all the kindergartens here all the time. Olivia had already had it, Leia got it, so that was fun. And then I thought she was getting better from that, and then yesterday she came down with a fever. I don't know why, and she was miserable all day, which was why it was a tough day yesterday. And today she's been on and off with a fever, so... I don't have a lot of time to do this, is what I'm trying to say. So I was looking for questions for expats or an expatriate, or expatriate, people who live outside their home country. It is surprisingly difficult to find, they're all like questions like, how do I do my taxes? None of you are interested in how I do my taxes. So it's not been easy, but I found this. Five questions people ask Americans abroad. So we'll go through that and open a package from my friend Jeff. Jeff has sent a package before, and this one, Sounds yummy! The first question is, why are Americans so ignorant of other cultures? <laughs> well, I think that's because America is so big, it's huge, it's massive, we can travel for days and be in the same country with the same culture and the same language. You know, there's like a little variety state by state or region by region, but not that much. Here, you are, especially in Europe, some countries are so small that you guys are so close. As soon as you travel one hour away, you're in another country, another culture, another language, and it's very different. And in America, we don't have that, so it's really difficult to be surrounded by that. If you're on the West Coast, maybe you're surround, you know, you get more um, cultural influence from Hispanics because you're close to Mexico. Maybe if you're more north, you're closer to like Canada, but Canada, I don't think Canadian culture is so very different from American culture. Maybe in certain parts it is, but I don't think so. Ooh. <laughs> Summer seasonals are back at Aldi. All right, here we have Hofer. I know that in like Austria and Germany and stuff, it's Aldi, but it is like the same people, the same everything. Florida blueberries! Florida seedless watermelon! Is this like in dollars or euros? It doesn't even say. It's in English? It is. Aldi.us. Had no idea Aldi was in America. Uh, I thought that was a strictly European thing. Dear Mariah and Luca, I've sent a few things we have been selling where I work. Thought you would enjoy them. And for Luca being so brave to try the crazy candies I sent, bazooka gum. Okay, bazooka gum is like that gum that Luca made me try. Unfortunately, they have changed the way they are wrapped, not so nostalgic. Okay, they used to be wrapped with a little tattoo on the inside. And two little things for the girls and flyers from Aldi, a store I visit. First year in Slovenia, I went to Hofer, not realizing it's the same as our Aldi. When I was walking through, I realized, hmm, this looks familiar. <laughs> Enjoy, Jeff. P.S. Hope the chocolates don't get too crushed. <gasps> chocolates, well, that'll make my day better. How cute. <gasps> I love peeps. If you know what a peep is, I love peeps. You know, the food. Oh, so cute. Leia, which one do you want? Olivia will want the pink one. You want yellow? Perfect. Oh my gosh. Original bazooka gum. Oh no, this is how I remember it. I remember it two ways. It was either just like this and there's like the little tattoo on the inside or it came wrapped like, um, like almost like a, a round piece that untwisted. Free to be, ooh, allergen free. Rice chocolate filled with creamy sunflower seed butter. Dark chocolate, oh, I love dark chocolate. Definitely gonna have to try that. Oh my gosh. Cold brew chocolate coffee bites. Jeff, speaking my language. Jet black, 70% dark chocolate. Mm. Well, obviously I can't try all of this today. Ooh, 
dark chocolate with forest mint. Chocolate and mint, my favorite flavor combination for sweets. Obviously, Junior Mints, you know, after eights, all that. Bee Berry Honey Caramel. Fresh blackberries are cooked into a unique soft honey caramel. It's the bee's knees. Such <laughs> cute little hat. Jeff, thank you so much. I've completely forgotten about the questions. Oh, God. Question, so I'm, I'm just reading these questions off a website. Expat Madrid, questions for Americans. What's the deal with guns? Oh God, why that question? That's a very complex question and I don't like the comments it generates on the internet. It's a much better conversation safe for in person, let's say. And I will say that I do have opinions about it. But I would think, like most of my opinions, they are neither black nor white. They are philosophical and thoughtful. <laughs> Question three. So are you a Trump supporter? These are not good questions. But they are questions that I get all the time. <sighs> I don't like to be political on my channel because I feel like there's enough of that out there and there are channels designated specifically for handling politics in a constructive way. That's not my goal, and I feel like as soon as you start talking about politics and sharing your opinions on that online, it just leads to really negative conversations. I am not a Republican. I am not a Democrat. I am no party affiliated. I like to just be the party of reason and common sense. Okay, what are we gonna try first? I would like to try the rice chocolate, because that sounds the most different that I've never had before. Rice chocolate filled with creamy? Sunflower seed butter. Why are so many Americans overweight and obese? Oh, you mean while I eat chocolate? Let me answer this question. Oh, it did get a little bit melted. It looks just like a Reese's peanut butter cup. The chocolate melts really fast. It's very, very smooth and creamy. The sunflower seed butter on the inside is really delicious. One of the reasons Americans are fat and obese is because <laughs> marketing. That's a huge reason. The new thing, right, is, let's say, for example, organic, gluten-free. And people will make organic and gluten-free desserts and chocolates and ice cream and blah, blah, blah. And it gives this false illusion that it's healthier or that it's not so bad for you, but it still has 25 grams of sugar in it. I think there's so many reasons why Americans are fat and obese. It's very sad. It's actually why I do what I do. I'm not doing this. I work in health and nutrition. I think Americans are sadly ignorant of their food and nutrition, and we're just very disconnected from our food. I think that the fast food revolution has a lot to do with Americans being overweight and obese and it kind of came in the 50s it started with you know companies like McDonald's where they made these fast and inexpensive foods that you could buy on the go and then my generation I think was kind of the last generation where we you know our parents made our lunches and we ate dinner at home with our families and then you know once I became a teenager we started eating out more and more as a society. People just started eating out more and now it's like people eat out all the time. I'm almost surprised now when I go back to California to realize how much people eat out and don't cook at home. And I just sadly think that it's, it's mostly due to just ignorance. People are not, they don't, they've never been educated or they've never been taught how to eat healthy. I think I'm gonna save everything else for a, a special day. But I want to try this honey caramel. That is very delicious. Question number five. Is life in the U.S. just like it is in the movies? No. I mean, is anything really like it is in the movies? I would say it's probably similar, but just dialed down. <laughs> and that's all the time Leia has for today. Thank you for watching this video. Look. I think you're ready for a nap. If you liked it, please like it. If you like me, please subscribe. Hey. And <gasps> amazing. I'll see you. Um, I might be gone tomorrow. Yeah, uh, we had plans for this weekend. I'm not sure if it's gonna work out. If it does, I won't be here tomorrow. I won't be able to upload. If it doesn't, then maybe I'll see you. Maybe there will be a bonus vlog on Sunday. I don't know. I'll either see you tomorrow or maybe not, or maybe Sunday or maybe not, or. Definitely, definitely Monday. 
I'll definitely see you one day. Yeah, thanks, bye. By the way, Jeff, thank you so much for all of this. I almost forgot to say that, but thank you so much. It's delicious, so thoughtful, like really high quality stuff. We'll definitely show Luca trying this out.